here we are today is november 10th 2022 hi guys welcome back to my channel quarter minutes with my shen so for today's video it's going to be a bit different than everything i do here on my channel as most of you guys know i'm getting married in exactly a month y'all i'm having goosebumps as i'm saying this um yes i'm already married um in court but this is my traditional and my church wedding so the white dress okay i'm super excited and i just cannot wait and i really cannot believe it it is almost here we are four weeks away exactly four weeks the countdown starts today okay so i have a bunch of things to you know open up to you guys about and tell you guys how i feel and you know what i have to do next you know what i have left to do before my husband and i big day okay but before we get started if you guys are new here hi 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 my name is just and i do a bit of everything here on the channel i vlog i do lifestyle i do advice videos you know all that good stuff everything that can help somebody out there i do it here on my channel so don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below it is free the notification bell on so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video and if you're a returning subscriber you already know it is a love thank you so much for your love and support i truly truly appreciate you guys and yeah you guys so this is gonna be like a diary type of video and i hope you guys like this type of video because i'll be you know talking to you guys as i'm talking to one of my girlfriends or guy friends you know so I am getting married in a month and that is so unreal because you guys know I have been married with my husband in court for two years. We got married during the pandemic. We got married on September 9th, 2020. Okay. So we got married September 9th, 2020. So it has been two years. All right. Two whole year that we have been planning for our traditional wedding and our white wedding so the big church wedding where you wear the white gown and all that good stuff okay so i'll include here some of the pictures of when we got married in court and it was at the park because it was during the pandemic everything was great and now we are about to celebrate our union in front of god and i'm more than excited okay i have a lot of people writing me asking me how i feel am i nervous a bit a little bit i'm a bit nervous but i'm more excited and nervous that's why you know most people that are asking me i'll be like a little bit like barely because my excitement is taking over my nervousness okay so as you guys can see i do not have any lashes let's start by that your girl always wear her lashes when she does her makeup i literally don't have any brow on this is my brows remember i got my brows micro shaded a couple months ago and i do it like pretty often so this is my second time doing it so last time i did it was like in 2020 2019 so i just did a retouch a couple months ago so this is what is on i have foundation on and i put a lipstick that is it okay no lashes and i have some mascara no lashes you know i put a little bit of highlight so my face looks together and the reason why i did such a light makeup i would think it's light because normally i do more than that right is because um i was advised not to wear any makeup a week before my wedding okay they say normally a week or two before your wedding it is advised not to wear any makeup so that you know when your groom sees you he gets that wow effect all right so i decided to actually do a month unless i have to record a video i'm not gonna put any makeup and right after i'm done recording a video i'll take it right off before my husband even gets to see me with the makeup on so i was like i'm not gonna use a bunch of product on my face when i'm about to wipe it right off after the video so that's why your girl is gonna be presenting herself like this more often on camera and i'll make sure my husband doesn't see me with um, any makeup for a month okay unless it is very important or i really have to go to an event that requires me to wear makeup i will not wear any makeup all right and um, because we're having our, wake, our wedding out of the country, okay, destination wedding, period. Because we're getting married out of the country, we have a few things to do. Uh, we already got our visa, so that's awesome. If you guys follow me on my social media platforms, you guys already know where we are getting married. So make sure you follow me on my Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. The link will be down below for your convenience. I shared the destination we'll get married at. Today, I also filmed some TikTok videos for our wedding countdown because I want to, 
you know, record this whole thing because, you know, you're not supposed to, I'm Catholic, by the way, I'm Christian Catholic. So you're not supposed to get married in church more than once in a lifetime. So because of that reason, I want to really make sure I record as much as I can for my wedding. I hired a photographer that's going to record just for you guys. Okay. Just for YouTube. So you guys stay tuned. For the videos because I know most people on my social media were like can you please record it yeah I hired somebody separate that I'll be there to record the whole thing for my YouTube channel so I'm excited about that so the next time I'll have a full face makeup on will be for my traditional wedding on Friday December 2nd I decided that I'll be doing my own makeup unless somebody offers me a makeup artist I personally feel like I want to do my own makeup that day if you guys do not know I also do people's makeup so I'm like I'll do my makeup for my traditional wedding and for my church wedding which is on December 10th I will have a makeup artist do my makeup so that's the plan so far so I do have a makeup artist and a hairstylist that will do me and my bridesmaids hair and makeup so that's good uh, my dress is actually getting altered right now I'm supposed to pick it up on the 15th so in five days uh, I'm excited about that because your girl lost some weight so she had to get her dress altered um, before the big day and since I'm going out of the country, I already get it altered here so I can take it with me, you know, back home, um, already altered. I personally do not think that in the next four weeks, I would lose a tremendous amount of weight. Of course, I know I would lose weight, but I don't think it will be to the point that I would need another alteration. So I decided to just go ahead and get that done. Um, yeah, what else is happening? Mm. Yeah, hubby and I are excited about the whole thing. Like I said, it has been two long years of planning. And we are super duper excited that the day is finally closed. So because we are having a destination wedding in another country, um, we communicate everything through phones or Zoom, whether it's with my husband's um, groomsmen and my bridesmaids. We are literally all over the place. So we are doing like meetings on Zooms and talking through Zoom. Like we are practicing the dances we're going to do that day through Zoom. But I feel like it's so cool because technology is just wonderful. Like, we literally put our camera down, get up, and start dancing. Like, we are actually doing pretty amazing for a group that um, is meeting on Zoom. But, of course, the week before the wedding, most people will be there. So, we'll go to the hall and actually practice there. So, yeah. Um, so far, so good. Today, I was able to pick um, the cake that I want. So that's exciting and the flavors and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, I was able to, you know, add a few things that I want in the hall. Um, yeah, I was able to do a few things today. I have a wonderful, wonderful aunt-in-law that is really, really helping us. So she was able to, you know, meet with the people out there and help us you know, accommodate what we want, you know, talk to the lady about it and see what she thinks, if she offers those services. And there's a bunch of services that we wanted that the lady's offering. So that is great. Um, yeah, right now we are looking for the car. We're going to be driving in. And the cars, the groomsmen and the bridesmaids will be in. And also who is going to do the decorations of the car. That's the step we are at right now. I was also able to book the place where Bay and I are going to stay the night of the wedding. And that place looks amazing. It looks so good. I might do a room tour when I'm in there and, you know, pop it in here on YouTube for you guys. But the place looks amazing. Of course, my judgment is based on the pictures and videos that I see online of the place. And also, I have my, my husband's best man. Um, has been to that place and knows about the place so he also confirmed that the place is really nice beautiful beautiful so we booked that place right now we are finalizing the places where our groomsmen and bridesmen will be staying at the night before so you know we can all be up and ready in the morning especially being that our church will be early early morning like there's four weddings happening on december 4th at that specific church and we are the first one okay we are the first wedding so we got to make sure we are all together so we can get up there ready together and go. So honestly, for a wedding being done out of the country, I feel like pieces are falling in together. Things are starting to look good. So I'm not going to make any promises of what I'll do once I'm out of the country. But what I can promise you guys is every single week from this week until the week of our wedding, you guys will get at least one video from me. Okay? All right, you guys. That's it for today's video. I'm very excited. Um... 
everything is already purchased and ready to go because we are having a destination wedding we decided to you know purchase a wedding package and if you guys do not know i am my own wedding planner okay we did not hire a wedding planner and it has been pretty stressful being my own wedding planner but also very fun okay and also being able to you know envision something and bringing it to you know to life has been very fun to me so i have kind of found a passion in envisioning things having someone draw it out and bringing it to life um throughout this whole process of planning our wedding for example my wedding dress was customized okay it was a drawing that came to life and before coming up with that drawing it was my vision okay what i told the tailor to draw and he drew that and then customized it and it is perfect y'all i just cannot wait for you guys to see my wedding dress it is perfect it's amazing it is my dream wedding dress so seeing that i'm amazed also my bridesmaids um traditional dresses for our traditional entrance y'all same thing went to the tailor i told him i wanted to look like this he drew it out then saw the dress amazing i love it so seeing you know my vision being drawn and brought to life it's an amazing feeling. At first, I was stressed out, like, what if I don't do a good job? I don't want to mess my own wedding. But as time went by and months and months started rolling down, I started realizing that, oh, yeah, I got this. Like, I'm doing a good job. Like, we are six months away. This, this, this is already done. We are four months away. This, this is already done. Like, I started getting things done and being more and more excited about the whole process. And also, I'm not going to end this video without thanking God for the amazing husband that I have. Um, he is God sent for real. Like, <clears throat> I got a bit emotional when I think about... Whew, we're not going to do that here. So, yeah. I really thank God for him. I thank God for his life. I thank God for the person he is because... He makes this ride so smooth. Like, he is literally there for me. Mind you, I'm the event planner of my own wedding. But he he works, but he still found time to make sure I'm okay mentally, to make sure he's there for me, to make sure he helps me with things that I'm, you know, confused about. He helps me do my research. Like, y'all, just, just, I'm just blessed. So, yeah. Um, I really thank God for him. I really, really, really appreciate him. Truthfully, like, I'm thankful for him. And with us going through these two years of planning together, it just, it just, I don't know. It, I'm speechless, y'all. Like, I don't know if I'll cut this part out, so y'all don't really, like, it has been great. That's, to say the least, it has been great. Like I said, it has been two long years of planning, and we are almost there. And he has walked with me along the way, despite the fact that he has a whole full-time job to worry about, but he has still been there for me. I'm just, I'm grateful. So yeah, you guys, I'm not going to keep rambling. That was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. It is free. Don't forget to turn the notification bell on so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, you already know, it is all love. Thank you so much for your love and support. I truly, truly appreciate you. Our hashtag is hashtag baby till eternity. So you guys will see it a bit everywhere. Um, Once we start the wedding, I'll talk more about it, especially on my social media. So make sure you follow me on my social media platform, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. The link will be down below for your convenience. You guys will see that hashtag a lot. Hashtag baby till eternity. And yeah, you guys, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.